hello boys and girls. I have an exciting game to play with you today. You are in for a treat. And this game is called Guess the Animal That I'm Talking About. Okay, so I'm holding one. I am a tiny insect. I love to feed on the blood of humans and animals. Think you get the answer? Let's see. Did you say mosquito? Yes, you are correct. Okay. This one. I love to crawl through dark, dirty places. And I love to walk around. Once I'm in your house, I love walking around your house. I am attracted to food that you leave on the counter and I love dirty dishes and I especially love the crumbs that you leave lying on the ground. Boys and girls, you think you get that one? Okay, let's see. You are correct. It is a cockroach. Boys and girls, you're very good at this game. Let's go see this one. Okay, I love to live in your garbage. I love dirty places. I don't like clean places. And I love to dig holes, love to dig holes. But I don't like cats. You think you get it boys and girls? You think you know the animal I'm talking about? Let's see if you're correct. You are absolutely correct. It is a rat. Boys and girls, we have one more. Now this one is a easy peasy lemon squeezy one. Okay, I am a small animal that flies. Okay, I don't like clean places. And I'm always trying to get at your food. Every opportunity I get, I would land on your food. And I love living on dead animals and rotten food. Do you know which animal this is, boys and girls? Let's see if you're correct. It is a fly. Boys and girls, you did an awesome job. Now, let me ask you a question. These animals, are these pets? Do we have these animals as pets? Certainly not. I know I won't want to have them as pets. Now, what do we call these animals? I'll give you a clue. These, all of these animals spread germs and diseases. Do you know what we call them? Uh, I know that one is kind of hard for you. So I will help you out. And I'm sure this word is new to you. Let's see what we call them. Animals that spread germs and diseases are called vectors. Say the word with me, boys and girls. Vectors. So today, boys and girls, we will be learning all about vectors. We will be looking at the effects of vectors on our country. And also, we will be looking at ways we can protect and preserve our habitats from vectors. Okay, boys and girls, so tune in and I want you to listen very carefully. Are we ready, boys and girls? Do you remember what vectors are? Read along with me, boys and girls. Vectors are organisms, and that means the same thing as animals, that spread germs and diseases. Some vectors are rats, mosquitoes, flies, and cockroaches. You remember them, right? Do you know what this is? This is a rat. 
Now, boys and girls, where would you find rats? Yes, you would find rats mostly around garbage bins that are not secured properly. Rats love nasty, dirty places and they feed on almost anything. Sometimes boys and girls, they would even get in our houses. And boys and girls, if we don't keep inside our houses clean and tidy, they would come to stay. Now, of course, we don't want rats staying in our houses, do we? No way. So, what must we do to keep them out? We don't want a whole lot of rats all around the Bahamas because we want our country to be clean and tidy, right? So what should we do? Boys and girls, we should keep our surroundings clean. We should secure our garbage properly. And boys and girls, if we have a serious problem with rats where we live, we should call Ministry of Environmental Health and let them deal with the situation. Okay, because remember we say rats can transmit germs and diseases. And so we get a bite from a rat. We could get a disease and we could become sick. So boys and girls, we must do everything, everything to keep them away from our surroundings. I'm sure you know what this is. This is a cockroach. Cockroaches live in damp, dark, dirty places. They feed on almost anything, again, including the food we eat. And boys and girls, they spread germs and diseases eh, just like the rats. Now, take a look at the roach's legs, right? You see the tiny hair on their legs? Well, when they crawl over garbage, right? Germs would go on their legs and their bodies. And guess what? If they crawl on the food that we eat, the germs would go on our food. And boys and girls, we can become sick. So we don't want that, right? So boys and girls, what do you think we can do to prevent the increase in roaches? Yes, all we need to do again is to keep our surroundings clean. Next, this is a mosquito. Now, how many of you were bitten by a mosquito. I certainly was. And I believe most of you were at one point, right? And guess what? It's not a good feeling, right? And sometimes the mosquitoes would leave blotches on our skin, right? Many blotches. And it would cause, cause us the itch, right? So, boys and girls, mosquitoes, they feed on our blood and they can transmit the germs that cause dengue, dengue fever. Mosquitoes must lay their eggs in water. What kind of water? Not the salt water. They lay eggs in fresh water that comes from the rain. So boys and girls, now that you know that they lay their eggs in fresh water that comes from the rain, 
what can we do to reduce their chances of having babies? Simple, right? We must remove all of the empty containers and other items that can collect rainwater from around our houses, right? That means all the cans, all the bottles, all the little covers, anything that could collect rain. And, and if we can't remove the buckets and big barrels and stuff around our yard, we can just simply turn them face down, okay? And so that is how we can prevent mosquitoes. And another thing we can do, maybe not you, your parents can do, is to spray insecticides, okay? Boys and girls, next we have housefly. That is a vector too, because we know that it spreads germs and diseases. All of us are familiar with the housefly. Flies, they feed on anything, again, including garbage, rotten, and rotten food, feces, which is stool, and dead bodies, like the dead bodies of cats, dogs, and other dead creatures, okay? That might be around your neighborhood, your surroundings. Now, flies do not have teeth. How do they eat, you may ask? Now guess what, boys and girls? They would warm it on your food, solid foods. Warm it on them to turn them into liquid and then they would suck them up. Ooh, nasty, right? Yuck! I can't imagine flies vomiting on my food, right? I'm sure you wouldn't like that, right? Now flies carry around germs on their legs, look at their legs, and their bodies. And again, when they land on the food, the germs would drop off. And again, boys and girls, when we eat this food, the germs would enter our bodies and make us sick. So boys and girls, what must we do to prevent house flies from increasing in numbers what some things we can do okay again boys and girls we must make sure our surroundings are clean we want to make sure our garbage are properly secured we want to make sure we disinfect our garbage containers regularly and boys and girls whenever you're leaving your food you have to make sure your food is covered properly at all times boys and girls and if you see any dead animals like a cat or a dog anywhere around your neighborhood or in your yard you tell your parents so that they can call environmental health so they can come and deal with it so boys and girls i hope you were paying attention i hope you were paying attention because guess what now it is quiz time let me see how smart you are now Are we ready, boys and girls? I'm sure this is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Here we go. What are vectors? A. Animals that live in the pine forest. B. Animals that live in the ocean. C. Animals that spread germs and diseases. D animals that are pets excellent vectors are animals that spread germs and diseases which animal is not a vector not boys and girls 
A. Roach B. Fly C. Turtle or D. Rat Excellent! The answer is turtle. What can we do to prevent vectors? A. Keep our surroundings clean B. Drop litter on the ground C. Pray to God or D. Put a fence around your yard Excellent boys and girls! The answer is keep our surroundings clean and a disease spread by mosquitoes is blank. A. Dengue fever B. Cancer C. Coronavirus or D. Chicken pox and the answer is you are correct dengue fever last one boys and girls you're almost dead cockroaches live in blank places a clean and neat places b dark and dirty places c bright and beautiful places or d hard and cold places. Excellent boys and girls, cockroaches live in dark and dirty places. Excellent. Very good. Give yourselves a hand clap. You have done a marvelous job. Remember that by keeping our country clean and disposing of our garbage properly, we are actually protecting and preserving our habitats from vectors. The Bahamas is our home. We love the Bahamas, right? We want to keep it clean, green, beautiful, and healthy for us, as well as our tourists. We value our country. We value our habitats. So we should take good care of them. Boys and girls, Continue learning. Continue being safe. Until next time. Bye.